Welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. An exciting episode today. We've got direct news coming from Supercell. A recent interview held by my good buddy Locke and my good friend Darian, the community manager for Clash of Clans at Supercell. And we got a lot of really good information. And I'm going to break it down to you guys and also interpret some of these statements made by Darian and what I think they mean. Now, first of all, regarding the idea that people keep saying Clash of Clans is dying or is dead. Uh, I thought this was interesting that they even covered this as a question, but the key answer and all of these quotes that I'm going to put up on the screen are either quotes or paraphrasings of what Darian said in the interview word for word okay very very close i'm not misinterpreting anything i'm going to put all of the text up so we know exactly what he said and then we'll talk about it so darian said that clash of clans is currently played by tens of millions of players around the world on a daily basis now you know that if you're in my live streams i'm sick and tired of answering the people that say oh clash is dead is clash dead is clash dying of course it's not if you look at the top 10 grossing apps in the app store clash of clans is usually still there in the top 10. most companies work their entire lifetime of their company to get one app to show up ever in the top 10 and here's a game that has been there almost non-stop for six years but don't be surprised because this is the business plan that Supercell has had in place as long as I have known them. And I've been going to Supercell and visiting their headquarters for years. In fact, I've been there. You guys ready for this? We figured this out last time I went. I've been to Helsinki 21 times. 21 times. And I feel like I've gotten to know the folks over there pretty well. They are designing games. Every single game they put out, they want to last indefinitely they don't want these games that burn out in a month three months even six months or a year and that's part of my frustration because they had a game that did not ever go global it was beta only it was called smashland i loved that game but they saw that that game was likely not going to be a game that players would play for years and that is why they killed it so i would expect that if and when Brawl Stars goes global, it is going to last for years. Look at Clash Royale, it's not going anywhere. And if you are a Clash of Clans fan, which I assume you are if you're watching this video, don't worry, your favorite game is going to be here to stay with you every single day for many, many years to come. In fact, Darian also said that Supercell has goals of having Clash run another six, 10 years, whatever it takes. So yeah, I would not say Clash is going anywhere anytime soon. Now let's get into some of the update hints, some of the update information that Darian shared with Locke and thus with all of us in the Clash of Clans community. Now this next statement Darian made is easy to miss in the interview if you're not paying attention. He kind of groups it in with several other points, but he says, and I quote, more single player content. So yes, too bad Chief Pat left Clash of Clans because it sounds like Goblin Maps. But to be honest, I don't think that it's going to be that simple. Goblin Maps are great, yes, but there's no way that they are going to expand single player content by just giving us a few more or double the size or even triple the size of the Goblin Maps. I would anticipate something much more innovative, something that a lot of people aren't expecting. So that's exciting because I do think that the single player side of Clash could be developed and as complicated as this game is nowadays, it would be nice to have more strategic help for players that are trying to learn how to play the game. And I think initially that's what the Goblin Maps were designed to do. Now moving on to the discussion about clan war leagues. I know a lot of people have been waiting for more information about this. We got this much. Clan war leagues will be more of a skill-based system rather than just weighted matchmaking. So it's ambiguous, but it's promising because a lot of players have been complaining literally for years about engineering, sick and tired of seeing players being able to manipulate the system to gain an unfair advantage. So we have something to look forward to here, although it's, you know, it, it doesn't get very specific. And Darian, as if you know Darian, and I know him pretty well, uh, he is really good at 
dancing around questions, making it sound like he answered it completely, yet not giving you the critical information that you might have been seeking. I mean, Darian obviously could have been a politician. Instead, he's a great community manager uh, for Clash of Clans. But nonetheless, we got a little bit more information about Clan War Leagues. We know that this is something they are working on. We also heard that there are a couple of updates planned between now and the end of 2018. And then about having an advantage, he did say that being higher town hall levels will be much more advantageous. This was again in reference to clan war leagues and it, it makes sense because the way that Supercell has built Clash of Clans and they touched on this for a couple of minutes is the idea of progression. You need to work your way through the town hall. I mean, that's how the game is supposed to work. And players who keep asking for more content at Town Halls 6, 7, 8, 9, even 10, they're going to be continually disappointed because the new content for Town Hall 8, it's called Town Hall 9. The new content for Town Hall 9, it's called Town Hall 10. Move on, people! That's the way that Supercell sees it. It's time to move up. If you want new content, it's waiting for you with that next big Town Hall upgrade. So... I would anticipate that most town halls are seen as complete and just based upon the way things have gone in the past, you will occasionally see little additions to the previous town hall or two. So we might see small changes, very small additions to town hall 10 and 11, but most of it's going to come to 12 and then of course town hall 13 will come and 12 will start to become a little bit more stagnant you'll be seeing fewer updates that add to town hall 12 content and speaking of town halls the most exciting news right here yes darian confirmed town hall 13 he confirmed town hall 14 and yes he confirmed town hall 15. all right so i know this isn't groundbreaking ground shaking news it always has been a matter of when not if but it was kind of cool to hear it come out of Darian's lips and say Town Hall 13, Town Hall 14, Town Hall 15. We know it's coming. We know that's the way the game works. But yes, who knows? There's probably artwork somewhere back in Helsinki right now of what the renderings of future Town Halls could possibly be. Now this does bring up an interesting point and Locke talked about it. And it's the idea that the game has become so huge, so massive that... Wouldn't new players be intimidated by the sheer depth of the game, the sheer length of time that it would take you to get from Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 13, Town Hall 15? And yes, that does seem like it's an increasingly large gap, but Darian also said there's a cap on how long the upgrade process is going to take. And the way I see this is that at some point, you think about their back in the day, there was Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 9. And back in those days, back in the old days, I took 24 hours. Okay, it took 24 hours to train a spell, okay? And heroes took hours and hours to regenerate. So the fundamental idea is as the game becomes larger and more deep, the upgrade process is going to be slightly less painful. We've seen it in a lot of different upgrade times being reduced wall costs being reduced and I would anticipate that that is going to continue and as you see more town halls and more content added it's going to be a little bit easier to advance through the town halls so basically don't buy stock in walls if anything you should be short selling walls and higher level buildings uh, that's a stock market term for a legend or something anyway okay last but not least exciting news about the clouds for legend league players Darian did say, and I quote, I think we have found a solution to the clouds. So that is exciting. I'm happy about that. And we are going to go into much more depth on the cloud situation and the cloud solution in a future episode for now. 
this is going to wrap it up. If you guys want to see the entire episode in person, the beautiful Locke and the very handsome as well, Darian, check those guys out on Clash of Clans official YouTube channel. Otherwise, thank you for stopping by for this 10 minute recap. I appreciate your time. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Enjoy that Clash of Clans. Get ready because the updates are around the corner. Stay tuned. Stay subscribed. Have a great day. Be kind to other people. And I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks.